YouTube, it's your boy Young Shine. We back at it with another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be getting rid of my four inch calculator screen inside my base model Mustang GT. And we're gonna be upgrading to a Dynavan 10 inch screen, uh, touch screen radio today to give me a, a premium Mustang GT interior feel. So without further ado, we're gonna go into a quick unboxing. I'm gonna show y'all kind of what to do to take the old radio out and put the new radio in. And we're gonna go through all the functions that it has and everything like that. But before we do, make sure to hit the like button if you like this video and if you like the product that we're about to install. Make sure to subscribe. We're almost to 500 subscribers. So if y'all can help me get there, it'd be greatly appreciated. Make sure to comment down below what you think of the radio. And if you wanna cop, you know, I do have a code just in case the people that wanna cop. And uh, make sure to hit the, uh, the bell notification so you know when I post, man. So, you know, we're going crazy. Like I said, we're going crazy all summer this year. We got new modifications. We got new things going on. We're going to get crazy with both the builds, by the way. You know, both things. But, uh, yeah, let's jump right into the video. Getting into the unboxing. I'm going to show you guys what a base model Mustang guys go through. Um, as you see, 4-inch calculator screen because it got all the, the numbers and all that stuff. And it's little with a little horse right there. And, you know, we get no drive modes or anything like that, like you premium guys get. But for me, I mean, it wasn't a huge necessity to have the um, the Sync 3, Sync 4, whatever it had, whatever the premium guys have now. Because um, I just wanted the car in general, you know, as long as I had my performance back, I was cool with that. But, um, yeah, that was it. And now that um, we have that new 10-inch screen, it's going to replace all that. It's going to look oh so good once we install it. And I can't wait to go through all the functions that it has, different functionalities and everything like that that it has. So let's get it. Here we have the new Dynavent 8 from Dynavent. Uh, this model fits all of the 15 and up Mustang GTs or regular Mustangs, V6s, EcoBoost, anything like that. This uh, fits any Mustang. So this is going to be an upgraded radio to the calculator radio if you have like a base model like mine and you want to upgrade to a newer radio this is going to be the one to get if you don't want to go with the sync 3 sync 4 upgrade that 4 has because i know those cost a pretty penny as well so here we have the quick manual now that we got everything all unboxed uh, for this install we're going to be taking out the middle console gonna be taking out majority of these uh these small little uh, panel pieces on both sides of the car passenger and driver side to get to the back of the radio right now because everything's gonna have to come out we're gonna have to um replace the uh, cigarette lighter gonna have to use it uh and we're gonna have to do a whole bunch of things here and uh do a whole bunch of uh, disconnecting reconnecting and all that stuff to get the whole radio out and then to put the new radio in and then we should be back in business so go ahead and jump right into it. Let's get started. But I'm gonna show y'all the progress I done made so far. I done made pretty good progress. Um, basically the, the calculator screen is, is ready to come out. Um, I'm gonna flip the camera and show y'all. Um, and I'm gonna show y'all um, like all the panel pieces I done took out and little connections that I had to take out here and there as well. So let's go ahead and flip the camera. You can see I had to take the little air conditioner panel piece off, the side panels, side panel that go right there. And then to the interior, we had to lift up the center console to get to some pieces right there. As you, I don't know if you can see it, sun glare, but yeah, basically, yeah, we can take that out, put that to the side, and this is ready to come out too. And then I gotta uh, unplug it back there as well. But as you can see, this is the progress we're gonna make so far. I'm not quite sure how good y'all can see it. It's kind of dark in here, but yeah, all right, here we go. Yeah, got the light. As you can see, got this piece off. Had to disconnect the piece for the uh, to start the engine and the traction control and the cigarette lighter. Those are some connections back there that you have to disconnect. And you, you know, you can see everything now. Yeah, a whole lot of trim pieces. We done dissected the interior of the car. It looks kind of crazy. And look how small this screen is, bro. Like, I thought it was small sitting inside of, of there, but like, wow, that's that's literally the screen. That's literally the radio. That's crazy to me. But yeah, I'm going to keep on trucking and I'm going to disconnect that. And then we're going to start assembling the new radio and getting ready to put it back in. First look at the Dynavin all installed inside the 5.0. No more calculator screen. You know, we go 10 inch now. Bigger than a premium um, screen, by the way. 
And um, look at it. It looks. I ain't even took the little uh, little protecting piece off yet, but it looks it looks so good sitting inside the car. Just uh, just makes the interior pop a little bit more. It makes the interior a little bit more enjoyable. You know, I just I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm ready to jump in the whip and you know, go for a little ride. I still gotta hook that uh that microphone up right there. So, like, you know, if somebody was to call me, I'll be able to uh, talk and all that. I just got to uh, 3M it down. It has a little backing on it, so all I got to do is just uh, peel it and stick it. And I'll be good to go right there. But, yes, sir, look at it. So, right now, we're inside the car, and as y'all can see, we have the Dynavin all installed. Everything's all buttoned up. And just look how big the screen is sitting from, like, the cockpit, you know, sitting in the driver's seat. So, right now, we have, like, a 10-inch screen. And uh, it's bigger than that premium, which is an eight inch screen. And you know, it's way bigger than that calculator screen. But I mean, if we dive into it, you know, we hit the, oh, shit, I forgot how to work it. All right, here we go. So here we go. We got some of the apps and everything like that. We got the media for, you know, the Bluetooth, aux cord and all that. We got the phone, you know, it gives you all these different type of functions here. Go back, we got navigation, we got radio, and we can control the sound and everything right there. We got my uh, certain different apps. You know, we already got the YouTube app. You know, we can watch some of my videos while, you know, while I'm going on a cruise or whatever. You know, we got Wi-Fi built into it. We got the Play Store. You got files. So you can see the backup camera right there. You know, we got the AC controls and all that. And all this is still functional down here in the bottom and everything. But you can, you can see it on the screen and all that. And, yeah, you know, we got other certain things like the map updates and all that. But overall, I mean, I say this... Uh, I say this purchase was worth it, you know, um, I mean, it's pretty cool to me and how everything works and just having that, having that touch screen, you know, just having that display, you know, it just, uh, makes the interior more, I don't know, just makes it look all cool, hold on, yeah, and it just makes the interior, you know, pop and everything like that, and, um, I, I gotta fix the time and all that, I haven't fully played around with it and all that, I gotta get used to it and all that, but I mean, other than that, I mean, everything's, Everything's cool with this radio. I, I love it. I enjoy it. Shout out to Dynavan for providing a, a awesome product here uh, for the people that didn't want to go with the Sync 4 upgrade. Now I believe, but I mean this is a good alternative to that if you didn't want to go with the you know the Sync 3, Sync 4 upgrade from like Ford and all of that. That you know those that that Sync uh, system it costs like roughly like fifteen hundred for everything because you got to get it programmed and all of that. But right here you can spend a nice little six fifty, give you a touchscreen radio give you all these different uh functions and apps and all that stuff and you'll be you'll be good to go but yeah i just wanted to give y'all a quick point of view with it and everything like that and show y'all some of the some of the apps that's already pre-installed with it and then you know it got the play store so you can go crazy from there and it's also compatible with uh the apple carplay i just have to hook um just gotta hook my phone up to the um to the charger and you know everything will be straight with that but yeah this is an awesome product you know again shout out to dynavin this video is not sponsored or anything like that but I do have a code if anybody would like to um, would like to purchase this product, you know, just comment down below and I can get you the code and you know what I'm saying you'll be on your way to purchasing one of these. Um yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into this unboxing of this new carbon fiber steering wheel. Let's get it. Now the install, this should be pretty straightforward. Uh two bolts underneath the steering wheel column. Well, before we get to that, we gotta disconnect the battery so the airbag does not deploy on our face while we're trying to take the airbag out. So we gotta disconnect the battery first. Get the two bolts from underneath the steering wheel column. Take the uh, airbag out. Disconnect it from the inside and all that. Disconnect um, all the little um, the little pieces that are on the steering wheel, the little steering wheel pieces, all the little buttons and everything like that. We got to disconnect those. And then we got to get that 20, I believe it's a 26 millimeter bolt out from the steering wheel so we can take the steering wheel out. And then we just got to transfer everything over from the old steering wheel to the new steering wheel in the reverse process. And then we'll have the new carbon fiber steering wheel installed. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this install and let's get it. Excuse the mess in the background, but y'all already know me. Y'all already know I got to I got to take a peek at it first before y'all see it. Make sure we got everything straight. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. But you can see carbon fiber steering wheel from S550 Euros. Again, another product for them. You know, I like their customer service and they get things shipped out pretty quick. So again, shout out to S550 Euros for this uh, this awesome product right here. As you can see here, it is more in the light. As you can tell, we went green stitching 
purple stripe and I'm gonna show y'all why I did that instead of like the traditional red stripe or whatever with most people get but yeah that's the that's the carbon fiber steering wheel as y'all know I do go uh, with the green lights uh, for the dome lights then I just added just a little purple bandana around the, um, the seats. I got a green bandana around the driver's side seat. Just, you know, to spice up the interior a little bit. Just give it like a little, just a little color. None of that, um, no game related stuff right there. But yeah, that's how, that's why we went with the green stripe. Then we went with the green stitching. I kind of thought the green stitching would show a little bit more. So it could, uh, you could like really see it for real. But it's kind of like hidden within like the crevices of the steering wheel. But with, that's fine. But, um, but yeah, that's kind of, that's why I went with that for the interior. Because, you know, it's kind of black in here right now. Just try to give it a little bit more of a better pop in here. Give it a little more color. So, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, disconnect this battery. All right, cool. So, finally got the airbag off. Pain in the ass. Took two people to actually get it off for me. And it's actually not two bolts. It's kind of like two little pins that you have to press in. And that's how you get the airbag off. It's a tough, it's a tough process. And, you know, I was looking through on YouTube to see if anybody could show me how to get it off. And there's like literally no videos because everybody just has to like pause for that second and try to get that airbag off for like 30, 30 minutes, an hour. It took me about the whole morning until I called somebody. But yeah, airbag off. And now we finna start disconnecting the steering wheel and get everything, getting all those parts off. Got all the other pieces from the old steering wheel off. Finna transfer over everything and we finna see what it look like on the car. Easy. Finally got the steering wheel installed after many, many hours of fooling around with that airbag. But really once you get that airbag off, everything is just, everything simple after that. It's just taking off bolts, disconnecting a few connectors and then just reinstalling it on the new steering wheel. So it's pretty much straightforward after that. But it's just that airbag, man. That airbag, it just, I don't know, man. On the three valve, when I did the steering wheel, it was just two bolts, take it off, airbag come right off. Boom, you hit it with the, the 24 millimeter bolt, take that off, and then just like I said, replace everything onto the new steering wheel, and then boom, done, just like that. But with this S550, and those little, like those little pins that they got in there, it's just, it's ridiculous trying to take that airbag off. And it just, ugh, it just, it's just so aggravating trying to get that thing off. You'll be sitting there for it literally like hours trying to get that thing off. But once it's off, like I said, everything's just straightforward after that. And now we go carbon with the purple stripe, match the purple bandana. And like I showed y'all earlier, we got the green stitching, match the green bandana. And the match the green dome lights up top. And y'all see it. Go carbon on the steering wheel. We go Dynavin on the radio. And I might be adding something digital for the speedometer. You know, I'm gonna keep quiet on that. May or may not be happening. Y'all let me know, comment down below if y'all pull the trigger on pull the trigger on a digital dash or not. But yeah, I mean interior is definitely coming together now. Still debating if I should get that carbon, the carbon overlays for the dash or not. Since I kind of got like the little, like the black charcoal going on up top, up front. I mean, it kind of blends in well, but I mean, to match the carbon on the steering wheel, we might just go ahead and go carbon on the dash and get some other little carbon pieces just to go along with it, make everything match a little bit better. But yeah, this interior is, uh, interior looking good now. Interior, I'm satisfied with it, satisfied with it.